G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here with another quick little uh, productivity hack for you today. Um, now, as we know, uh, once we start utilizing and using Microsoft Teams for a lot more than just chat and file sharing and meetings, um, and it really is becoming uh, the central place to do our work and where we start our day, there's a lot of information coming in um, that we may miss or we may need to get back to a lot of the times because we don't have time in the moment in our current flow of work to be able to respond or read or follow up with. So there's a great little feature here that I want to uh, bring your attention to and that's the ability to create a follow up task in to do directly from a Microsoft Teams message. I've been starting to use this. Uh, I do use Microsoft To Do to uh, help keep on top of tasks and follow-ups and things like that. And this is another great little integration here with Teams where we can create a task directly from a message. So let's jump in and have a look. You can see I'm in Microsoft Teams here and I've got this uh, message from Megan um, and what I, I might be in a situation, I might not be able to respond to this, but I might wanna follow up with this at a later time. So what I can now do is click the more options, go to more actions, and I can actually create a task for me to, uh, to remind me to follow up on this message. So if I click on create task, it's gonna pop up a, a dialog box here, and I can create it in any list that I've got in Microsoft To Do. So you can see here I've got tasks, I've got two lists for review and also to follow up. Now this one here, I just want to I just want to review this message. So I'm going to place it in my list for for review. I'm going to mark it as important, and I'm also going to set a due date for me to review it by the end of next week. I'm now going to add that task. Now when I jump over to to do, what we can see here is that I, I, when I click on the for review list here, you can see that here it is. Here's the the message from Teams that is, has been added to this list. When I click on this list, uh, sorry, this item in to do, I've got the actual message here as well. And I've also got the link to that Teams conversation as well. All right, so a great little feature there uh, to keep on top of things that you may need to follow up on um, or to review from Microsoft Teams. The other thing here that you may have noticed too under more actions is that I can create a new poll. Another great uh, little functionality here to be able to create a poll as a reply to this topic. Um, so let's just create a quick little poll. I'll just leave all the defaults for now just to show you the functionality. We'll save that, we'll get a preview. We'll send that now um, as, a, as a message. And you can see that that's been posted as a reply to this conversation here and people can now submit their vote, okay? So and again, another great little functionality there that is I guess kind of hidden away a little bit behind some menus, but really good to draw your attention to uh, and also uh, potentially all of your other uh, users uh, and employees and team members from your organization. So I hope those two little tips uh, bring you some value today. Start using it, uh, create some tasks to follow up on from Teams messages and also reply back with some polls. Thanks for watching, see you next time.